guys, Michael from Bullion Now and Little Coin Shop. Um, just thought I'd take a bit of time out to do a bit of a review of the Brisbane Silver Stackers meeting um, that we had on Sunday. Um, it, it was a good meeting. Um, so there was uh, 15 to 20 of us gathered together at the Lord Stanley. Um, it started off pretty relaxed. Uh, we all gathered in a bit of a lounge room and everyone had a bit of a drink and and we just chatted generally about things um, and got to know each other, which was really good. So I met up with some guys that uh, I've chatted with online many times, um, you know, and we've, we've quite often traded but never met face-to-face. -face. So it was really good just to have that chance um, and just to discuss some of those things that, you know, like you, you, you can't put into writing but uh, you, you want to know about either um, people's opinion about their collections or, or where we're going with the silver price or the gold price and just all those kind of general things. And it was really good just to have that chance just to sit down in a relaxed environment and, and, and chat about those things. So there was a few of us uh, went up from south of the border, a couple of us Mexicans. So there was myself and um, Captain Kookaburra was up there as well. Um, I know we had one of the guys, uh, Silverman99, um, flew in from, from New Zealand. So... There was quite a few people travelled around. I know a couple of the guys said they'd been travelling an hour or an hour and a half to, to get to the meeting. So all of you guys that say, you know, oh, it's more than half an hour from where I live, you know, you're kind of a bit missing out. Um, need to have a bit of dedication to the cause there. So, um, yeah, there was, like I said, there was about 15 to 20 of us um, rolled along and and then uh, Captain Kookaburra um, got up and, and gave a bit of a burst about what had um, gone on at the Berlin Money Show. So some of the hot gossip that we'd found out from the, the dealers and uh, mints over there. Um, and uh, I added a few things in there as well. Um, and then Paul got up from Ainsley's um, and had a bit of a, a talk about how Ainsley supports the local community up there. And that was that was really, really good. Um, and as I said when I was up there, you know, it's important to support support your, uh, your local bullion dealers because if you don't support them, then they can't support you. And uh, Paul was pretty straight down the line. He, he um, described what they do there and uh, yeah, it was really good. So I encourage anyone in the Brisbane area to um, to support uh, Paul and, and Ainsley's Gold up there. Um, they do a fantastic job. So that was really good. Well, we had a good discussion there and then um, we, uh, we all got out various silver and, and gold items and there was a bit of um a bit of direct one-on-one -on -one trading and and then we had had an auction and there was um some really great pieces there i know ck sold a um sold a, a little perth mint um it's it's seriously it's about that big and it's printed on there it, it's a colored rooster um and it's it says one kilo on it um and there's a few of them around they're a special uh, mintage brought up by, um, by uh, done by Perth Mint for a Chinese collector, um, and they're very very rare. So somebody picked up a bargain with that one, and I do remember who it was, and I know I have to send you the details from Perth Mint about that, and I'm still getting to it, but I will get there. Um, there was all sorts of great things. There was a uh, one of the guys there had a bit of a story about some um, some coins that he'd picked up um, for not much more than spot, from what I understand, and. Quite a number of them turned out to be um, the XAGs, the, the rare rams and, and that sort of thing. So, of course, that got Captain Kookaburra quite excited and uh, they had a good discussion about that. Um, there was lots of lots of gold and silver went at um, spot or slightly above at the auction. So quite often we see on silver stackers people saying, oh, I can't get gold at spot or I can't get silver at spot. Come to the Silver Stackers meetings. You'll be amazed at what you pick up for spot or very close to. And in fact, a couple of items went for less than spot. So, you know, the, the bargains are there. Um, you're not doing you're doing yourself a real disservice by by not turning up at these Silver Stacker meetings because um, you you can more than cover your costs just by coming along with some cash and picking up some real bargains. I know that um, I, we took some up from um, Bullion now. Um, took up a few from Little Coin Shop as well, but there were some some good buys, um, some fractional gold we took up. Um, and I know one of the gentlemen there picked up some screaming bargains um, for fractional gold, paying pretty much no premium over spot, which is just unheard of for half gram and, and 1 25ths and 1 20ths and 1 10th ounce um, uh, gold coins. So some real bargains there. And great conversations and great to meet people of like mind. So... Look, I can only encourage you to, to go along to these Silver Stacker meetings. 
Um, we're hoping to do another one in Brisbane in about three months, so uh, February, March, April, so around May, mid-May sort of time. So put that in your calendar if you're um, in Queensland or able to get to Queensland. Um, we've got one coming up in Melbourne very soon. It's tentatively booked for the 25th of March, but don't mark it in the calendar, but don't turn up on the day. I know one of the guys was telling me he turned up a day early for the um, for the Brisbane meet, so don't do that, and don't turn up on the 25th of March in Melbourne until we confirm the date um, and the place there. So it will be a change of place at this stage from the normal Melbourne meeting. Um, but again, I know that the Melbourne meetings um, that I've been to, quite often you'll get silver and gold at spot or not much more, and even some of the rarer um, you know, bars and coins and things like that, the, the more rare collector items. Um, quite often I see them go for crazy prices. New stuff I see going for less than I pay for it as a dealer out of, you know, places like Perth Mint. So you you will cover your cost if you turn up. Um, for all people say, oh, you know, I can't afford to go on that sort of stuff. If you're buying, if you're in the market to buy silver and gold, you will cover your cost. You'll have great conversations. You'll learn a lot. Um, and you'll find out what's going on in the industry. So, like I said, Brisbane in, a, in about three months, mid-May. Melbourne in mid-March, about the 25th. Um, I know there's guys that meet in Sydney. I know there's um, some meetings in Adelaide, although I don't know how frequently over there. And we'd really like to see if we can generate the interest where we're trying to encourage um, uh, something down in Launceston. And uh, it'd be great to see one in Auckland as well. And um, I know Bullion Now will support it. Um, whether we can go or not is a different matter, but we'll definitely support it in some way, whether that be a, a donation of um, of some products or sending some products over there if we can find someone to to um, you know take responsibility for them and auction them for us. So there's some some good bargains there. So Bullion Now and Little Coin Shop are more than happy to support these things. Um, so let's start talking. Um, and start communicating with each other and and really start generating that interest in the industry again. Um, and like I said, getting some good bargains and some good information and some good education out there. Um, Bullion Now and Little Coin Shop agreed to um, underwrite the cost of the room up there. And when we got there, several of the members actually um, donated some products to the, uh, to the auction and with the funds raised to go towards the cost of the room. And due to their generosity and their generosity, obviously, of the people bidding, um, we well and truly covered the cost of the room and the cost of the room for the next month, the next time we meet up there. So um, a, a real um, thank you to, to those people. It was incredibly generous of them. So, um, yeah, we've got spare money and we might even be able to throw it uh, towards a bit of a tab next time. The other, pe the other person I need to thank is uh, Neil over at Perth Mint, um, he uh, organised to donate um, a door prize for the guys turning up. So it was in this one, and he's organized, also donated one for um, the Melbourne meet as well. So when we get together, there'll be a door prize, and it's a, it's a Homer Simpson Dalt coin. So if you look on eBay, you can see how much they're going for. So a very a generous offer from Perth Mint, um, and it shows their commitment to, um, to helping um, the uh, the silver and gold stacking community. Um, so, yeah, a big thank you to those people as well. So that that's about it. Um, like I said, great meeting. Had a ball up there. The guys up there are fantastic. And the girls, um, you know, they're just fantastic. So welcoming and so open with the information and, and that sort of stuff. So it was a great time had by all. And I can only encourage you to join in in whichever state that um, that you managed to get to. So that's it for now, and I'll chat again another time.